Is he the best wonder kid on Football Manager ever? Possibly. I'm going to show you guys how I got 15 year old Endrick to score over 50 goals in his first season. Let's go. I bet you didn't expect to see me again today. Yes, this is the second video. I have a double upload. I mean, I've had a horrible day to be fair. This is now the second time recording this video. I explained in a um, video earlier, I recorded this video with the whole thing on. It was on mute, that's what I'm saying. It was on mute. But today's video is all about Endrick, 15 year old striker, Wonder Kid on FM23 and how to get the very best out of him in the first season, he's only 15. Now, I would have done a career simulation, but the development on Football Manager currently is not where it's supposed to be. Now, if you watch some of his development videos that some people have released, you have noticed that his mental attributes develop like crazy. The technical attributes don't really develop well, but the game is in the beta mode. So when the full game comes out on the 8th of November, we could possibly do a career simulation. But for now, I don't feel there's any point because we can't actually develop him in the way that we won but before we get stuck into the nitty gritty of this video and i know it's boring but i have to say it because i've said it before and it helps the videos because you guys are wonderful and you actually did like the video but liking these videos are very very important both in helping the channel and video grow so please please it would be hugely appreciated if you smash that like button also leaving a comment just helps with the algorithm as well so that's out of the way. Let's get stuck in how we managed to get over 50 goals in the first season with Endrick, the little saucy Brazilian. So first things first and similar to the first video that I done with Ka Kavara Havara Kavitsilia. Yeah. That Georgia Maradona. <laughs> I've already done a video on him and how to get the best out of him. And how I started that is by creating a tactic. And today we are going to start with the vertical tiki taka balance mentality, surprisingly. And it is a 4 3 3. But we have tweaked the role. So what I'm going to do is work my little magic and show you guys the tweaked version. So. Boom. Here we are. Here is the tweaked version. Now, I actually might do a part two to this video. Um, basically, just a video on the tactic itself. So I'm not going to break down the tactic, unfortunately, because it's a very good tactic and it done really, really well. But to get the best out of Endrick, the first thing we have to do is move him to the senior squad. Now go into development, even though the development is not where it should be. But what I would have done if I had to develop him over years for position role duty, I would have given him the advanced forward i believe that is his best skill set if i go to his profile we can see here for roland duty he's naturally a striker so i'm going to change that to a striker deep line forward on support he can't really pass it he doesn't have division or teamwork looking at the poacher i believe we can get more from him because he likes to move into channels rounds to keep our runs wide with the runs with the ball often sorry not runs wide so advanced forward considering it's using dribbling finishing first touch technique off the ball composure and acceleration those match his skill set so development i have given him advanced forward additional focus this would be kind of your preference how you want to develop him for me i've given him attacking movement because i believe that elite players the very very elite players have high decision making i want to kind of improve his decision making but also make him better off the ball and also make him just better at reading the game for player traits considering his flares on 18 he's good at dribbling he's got the balance and strength to keep running with the ball i have also asked him to try trick so we could just get that uh, that samba out of him but for the tactic we can see that he's got good mobility acceleration agility pace his mental attributes as well anticipation and off the ball is very very decent and technically finishing first touch and technique are very good now if i go back to the tactic in possession we are hitting early crosses but also whipping the ball into the box and this benefits those strikers with good mobility off the ball movement and technique because in case they need to do a first time shot they need to have good finishing and good Good technique which we will see because Endrick did that a lot during the season so this is the tactic he has been used as an advanced forward being asked to dribble more this is how we kind of got the best out of him what we're going to do now is skip to the end of the season and look at his well his season his stats how well we done let's go to the end of the season So 
So Palmeiras, they finished the season on top of the league playing 38 with 91 points. But you will have noticed the top goal scorer is Endrick with 54 goals. He managed to score 54 goals in 56 starts with 10 assists as well. So he's also creating a fair bit for his team. Now, when we go to progress and attributes, you will kind of see what I mean about how his mental um, attributes develop like crazy. Physically, his attributes are developing, but that's kind of expected to. That's kind of natural considering he's 15 year old. But with his technical attributes, you would expect a lot better than this. With his first touch, only that has really improved and that's gone up to 14. But everything else has fairly remained the same. But when we go to mental attributes, we could see a major overall improvement. So the development in Football Manager is not kind of where it wants to be and I didn't really want to waste the video by just simulating his whole career only for him to just have mental attributes so yeah that's the reason why I didn't do a career simulation Endrick did end the season with the most goals looking at the most assists Endrick is joint seven with eight assists so not only is he scoring goals he's also being fairly creative he did finish the season with the most shots four he also came second with the most man of the match awards most key passes we're not really going to see him there disappointingly we didn't see him with the most dribbles made now that would have been an absolute nice touch and another great thing about Endrick's season is that he only took one penalty he scored that one penalty by the way so we can take that away. He still scored 53 goals, which is over 50 goals for a 15, 16 year old, which is absolutely insane. Looking at his milestones, he made his debut on the 9th of January. But then a week later, he scored his very first goal, his very first senior goal against, I believe, yeah, that's Sao Paulo, against Sao Paulo. He was also the winner of the American Recopa. He ended the 2022 Brazilian Sao Paulo State Championship as the top goal scorer. He scored 16 goals, one more than Marcus Leonardo. But to be fair, he did play for less games than him. We did win the Loba de Torres. We did win it. And guess what? He also scored a double in that game in the final. So actually, let's go to our schedule and let's watch some Endrick goals. So in this game here is the Copa Libertadores. Torres final let's watch this saucy saucy machine so for the first goal they lose the ball here yes they do Z Raphael wins the ball he plays it into Dudu who actually got a very very good amount of assists for Endrick as well that was Endrick's first goal of the game Raphael Vega scores a penalty but we do not care about that here is Endrick's second goal George plays it to Gustavo Scarpa and here we're going to see a whipped cross there we are we are going to see a whip cross now. If I pull this back a little bit and I just highlight Endrick, just highlight Endrick. So you will notice him just dribbling about at first, dribbling. So you will notice him just jogging about at first, jogging about. And when Scarpa gets the ball in a very dangerous position, you will see Endrick just all of a sudden burst, burst into space and latch on to that whipped early cross. So here's Gustavo Scarpa with the ball. Just watch Endrick. Boom, there we are. Burst of speed and into the box. 3-1 to Palmeiras. Oh, 3-0. And then, yeah, let's not watch their goal. Let's not. Let's not. In this game, Endrick managed to score a hat-trick against Sao Paulo. One of my favourite South American teams. But Endrick absolutely ruined them with a first half hat-trick. So here's Marcos Rocha plays it to Bruno to Bartle from Sporting, I believe. Zay Rafael plays a lovely ball to Endrick and just loves it. My Brazilian Samba little boy just loves it over little, but that sounds wrong. Let's take that back. Bruno to Bartle plays it into Endrick's path. He goes towards goal and absolutely smashes it with his right foot that time. And for his hat-trick, Marcos Rocha plays it into Dudu. Like I said, Dudu got many, many assists to Endrick and there is a lovely finish by Endrick. In this game, he only managed to score two, just only two this time. It was a hat-trick, but one was disallowed, and that was almost another first-half hat-trick. But let's watch the goals in this game. For the first goal, is a corner? No, it can't. Yeah, about to say, it cannot be a corner. Jose Rafael, he's going to whip it, and Endrick just gets his toe in there. He just gets his toe in there for the first goal. And for the second goal, we tried to find Endrick the first time. Here's Dudu on the ball. He finds Endrick the second time. And uh, like I said, Dudu, Endrick it is a magnificent partnership relationship. And that game ended 4-1 with Endrick scoring a double. Against Santo Andre, Endrick managed to score a hat-trick this time. But it wasn't all in the first half. He managed to share it between halves. One in the first half, two in the second half. But let's have a look at the goals, shall we? So for the first goal, Bruno Tabar out wide to Dudu. 
Dudu pulls it back to Picares and he whips it hard and low and Endrick gets his toe. He loves one of those. He loves those toe goals. He just puts his toe in it when we whip it. Toe it. <laughs> toe, toe. Zay Raphael wins the ball, plays it into Raphael Vega. A little fortunate there, but Endrick goes through on goal and buries it. Raphael Vega also had a fantastic, fantastic season. And for the last and final goal of this game, here's the right back, May K, the right wing back. That's the role given him to him, by the way. And he plays a low cross into Endrick and he buries it with his right foot. Endrick is very, very comfortable with both feet, it seems. Finishing with both feet, he's very comfortable. And for the last, but certainly not least, because in this game, Endrick scored four goals. He managed to score four inside 20 minutes. So four in 17 minutes. In fact, four in 17 minutes to be exact. Let's watch these goals because this guy is just too saucy. He's too much of a machine on this game. So for the first goal, we intercept the ball. Zay Raphael gets the ball there, plays it into Endrick and buries it with his right foot once again. He's, just, he's both footed as well. Here's Danilo. Zay Raphael. Driving towards goal, plays it into Bruno Tabata, hard and low. Endrick, just it's too easy sometimes. It's too easy for Endrick. Here's Gomez with the ball. Danilo. Oh, what a pass. Ah, oh, little fortunate, but Endrick smashes it. Smashes it. One on one, chose violence. Here's Murillo, wins the ball, plays it into Danilo. Vega. Look at that one, two. Look at the football. The Brazilian football, the Brazilian link up. And it is four for Endrick. He just scores four by himself. Wow. But unfortunately guys unfortunately i'm sad to say that is the end of today's video endrick managed to score 54 goals in 56 games in the first season and this is exactly how you can do it if you have liked this video don't forget it's very important also for this video to do well to like this video leave a comment in the comment section and yeah, that's about it. You can subscribe if you want. If you want to subscribe, you want to subscribe, press that button. You can just subscribe if you haven't yet. And also make sure your notification bells are turned on so you get notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe, peace out, and God bless. I love you all. From me and Endrick.